just a quick reminder, two your knives, Dave Warren 2, the DW2. How quick a reminder is this going to be? I guess it'll probably turn into kind of a long-winded thing because that's the way I roll. Plus, we're going to take it apart, so we want to look inside, kind of see how that goes. But we've got us a titanium frame lock flipper. I know, I know. There's a lot of them out there. This one is the Dave Warren 2 or the Envy 2, correct? And it comes in this plastic box, by the way. Check that out. That's cool. I kind of like these plastic boxes, man. They're, they're rugged. Oh, Dave's in the box. We got him right there. So, you know, give him an email to your knives at hotmail.com. Dave, got to have me a knife. Oh, have you seen those bruisers? See, I've got the bruiser and then I've, I've dyed mine blue. But they got them in micarta now. Red and brown micarta. Crazy. Crazy. And they're cheap as chips too. So check that out. Of course, <laughs> he's running around with two of knives here. The Cebu, Michael Atorma, Storm Knives uh, design. And pff, forget about it. This is really good. I love this knife. I've got this in orange. I've got this one in smooth black micarta. They don't do anymore. But we're talking about the Envy. So kick it around. You get it in the box. You get it. The card and the microfiber cloth and all that but you get a knife a heck of a knife now i've still got my first one which is this is the original dave warren one number 68 a dave warren one does it say dw1 somewhere i thought it did okay well maybe not but this is the envy so this is now i later they came out with these green uh, package uh, where you could get yeah where you could get green hardware and stuff so I put it on here because it was bronze right so I mean that jazzes it up makes it but this one I'll tell you what I'm like I uh, wonder if I could transfer the hardware actually I, um, you know what this looks pretty darn similar it might be exactly the same you can swap blades. I like this blade. Which blade do you like better? I like this one better. I really do. Um, I just do. I didn't like the fact that the fuller went so far. But um, I may be in the minority there because a lot of people bought the Envy. And oh, well. I mean, before we go too far in, check that out. I mean, the action's just tremendous, tremendous. It just, oh yeah, there it is, DW1. I know it was on there somewhere, the Envy, okay? So, DW1, I mean, it just walks around. Now, this one, I haven't had for very long. Oh, well, there it's closed. Yeah, that's pretty daggone smooth, too. <sighs> that's pretty doggone smooth. Talk about some smooth knives. Um, that's just been my experience with this one, especially, and with the Hive 2. And I'm going to have to throw this in because I just can't get over this one. It's, it's insane. This one's insane. Did I say insane? It's insane. It's really good. Really damn good. Comes in hard box too if you hear that off camera. But this is a smaller knife. You know, put a tape to it. Kind of get our stats figured out. Uh, three and a quarter. 83 millimeters. And then we're out to under 8 inches. 7.8 inches and about 20 centimeters how fat not terribly and eh, gonna be close to a half inch 12.6 yeah right there and then blade stock 0.15 okay that's wow Let, let's get the yeah it is 
It's basically four millimeter blade stock. I didn't think it was that thick, but I guess it is. And you got that thumb ramp like you got on the Envy one. But this is different. A little bit of a multi-grind coming out here. That tip is not a fragile thing either, by the way. So let's see how much it weighs. 3.92. They said, what, where is that? See, this is the stuff that came from the site. And he said 7 and 7 eighths. And what did we just say? Maybe 7.8. So I put 7 and 3 quarter. I might have been looking at it sideways or something. But it said 4 ounces. And to me, that's 3.92. So that's why I put 3.92 in there. But, I mean, the action is tremendous on this knife. And it gets over that detent ball early. See that? It's over the detent ball. So then you can just shake it down. I, I haven't taken this apart yet. And that I'm going to on camera here. And uh, I don't know if I can improve the drop. Because I don't, I don't think it, it, it's, it's subject to, to needing to be improved. Unless you just want it to drop on its own without even the slightest, you know, shake. I kind of like mine to have to be encouraged a little bit to keep them on this side of the guillotine. You know what I mean? So that to me is like just going over a little smooth whoop-de-whoop -whoop in the road. And it still is just enough to just bring it right down so that that's good to me that's good to me now titanium and i think this hardware is titanium we'll check it when we get it apart but i believe the hardware is titanium as well we can kind of yeah i mean there's nothing here i got no i got nothing i got no magnetism there at all on this magnet you know so I'm thinking it's all titanium. Well, and, you know, look at the hardware here. It's anodized, so, yeah. In the hand, it's comfortable like the NV1 is because, to me, I think that's the exact same. I think you can just swap blades. I might try that out, actually, and uh, see how that works. That'd be interesting. Um... But I mean, I mean, this is definitely something you could play with. You could send it to Blades We Love, or if you do your own anodizing, you could pimp it however you want, right? With everything being titanium there, I mean, you can do what you wish. But it's centered up, no blade play, no lock rock, and yes, it's comfortable in the hand. And will it cut anything? Well, let's find out. Um, you know, the M390 blade, uh, we, I didn't have this one checked or I would have been weeks, you know, getting it checked and getting it back and getting it on camera. So I didn't do that. Uh, did it for the Kingsman though. And the Kingsman was 60. Okay. So our range is 60 to 62 as being acceptable in the green zone. So Dave told me they're all they're all doing uh, they're all hitting sixty to sixty two. So that's you, I think you can be pretty confident they're going to be right between sixty and sixty two Rockwell on the M three ninety, which would be nice. You know that's 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 a very acceptable range. Yeah, and of course this nice little choil area here, in here. Uh, yeah, you can do that. Um, Got to be kind of careful, but yeah, you can do that. Also, just for sharpening sake. Regardless, you know, it's contoured, so it, it's nicely shaped here. And like I said, it's comfortable. Here's your pass through. So, you know, disengaging the blades, comfortable and easy to do. Yeah. Here's your backspacer. Check it out. 
It's fairly simple. Got a place to put a lanyard through there. Traction here, and here, and here, and here, and across here. So, gives you some grip, you know. And, of course, it's jimped along the flipper tab. It's not a deep carry pocket clip. Right hand tip up only, no left hand option. Detent. Ooh. Okay. The detent, to, to in in my mind, it's appropriate. And it's not real, real super light. I would call it at least a five. And not, not a four and a half or a four. I cannot shake this out like this. But I can like this. But it's not easy to shake out like this. So when it's... When I really got to hoss it to get it out like this, then I call it a five or better on my detent scale. So take another look at this blade and take a look at the handle. So check that out. Um, it looks like we're using everything with this wraparound uh, spacer like that. I think we're getting everything we can get out of that. So I think that's efficient use of the length of the handle with the length of the blade. And of course, first rate materials, titanium and M390. So ceramic bearing, ceramic detent, and we'll check that out when we disassemble it. So here's the beauty of this knife. I mean, they're not like a lot of knives. Um, a lot of knives, you've got number sixes on the body and a number eight on the head. There are other knives, thank God, that are going to all number eights. And this is one of them, all number eight screws. So it makes it easy because all you have to have is one size. And having a larger size uh, Torx opening really keeps you from getting in trouble, you know, because when you got really tiny, you can chew up the teeth, even though I use Weeha or Weera bits from KC Tools that are German hardened steel, still you can over time tear them up or you can even worse is strip out the inside of one of these screw heads and then you're going to have some fun. Then the fun will just begin. You'll be banging your head against a wall. It won't be fun. You'll have to extract the damn thing out. Oh, it's popping apart on me already. Wow. Okay. Okay. Take it easy, buddy. I haven't got the last screw out yet. Oh, that's nice to know that that happens. Um, now, I don't think that pocket screw goes through far enough. So, let's... To, to attach to anything, so I don't think that's an issue there. Uh, not that I can tell. No, I don't think so from looking on the inside here. So let's open this up. And... Uh, Okay, there we go. We had a tight fit, you know, on these back here. So sometimes you got to kind of wiggle it back and forth. And there is some lube. There's your ceramic bearings and your detent and your detent track. And you can see where they weight relieved out there. And as well on the lock bar. Okay. Anything on the other side of the note? Not really. Just needs to be wiped down.
Also note we have a D-shaped pivot here, so that's nice. Since we have no access from the front. Okay, we got this crazy jazz fairly well cleaned up. Hardened steel insert with over travel stop, ceramic detent ball. Probably want to put the blade stop back in. And of course, if we want to build it, we can build it from this side where our pivot goes in. Note that the pivot is not a one piece. It is a screw. So you got a screw that comes in both sides there. And of course you do note that the steel washer is in this titanium here as well. Switch sides. Now, here we go with the blade. And I guess we could lay just a, a little film along that detent track. Oh my god, here we go. Okay, yeah, this would be right. This would be right. Right here. And put our bearing up against here. And just let one drop drop down in there. I think we're good. And anything else? Anybody else want on that train? Nope. Pulling out of the station then. There we go. Well, come on. Back up. Let's get my driver. Back it up long enough to straighten this thing up. There we go. Don't want to get our threads sideways. And uh, not much to it, is there? Uh, okay. I don't think I want to hoss on that too much, though. If I don't. Let's straighten this up, make sure we're straightened. Yeah, now it does. Now it feels like it. Okay. Yeah, that's as much as I think I want to do on that. That looks good. Now I'm probably not all the way. No, I'm not even close. Okay. Let's try this. To your knives. But of course, it's got that envious action on it, and of course, like the Envy One. Very nice as well. Wow. So great knives, both of them. Check it out on To Your Knives. Remember, LTK is your discount code for 5% off. Thank you so much. You know what we do around here. We love them knives, so you guys stay sharp.